What's up everyone and welcome back to Lounging with Lenny. My name is Lenny and today I will show you classic shepherd's pie. So stay tuned and watch the video to the end. Shepherd's pie has many variations, but the most important ingredient is ground red meat, cooked in a gravy with onions and other vegetables, and topped with the creamy mashed potatoes. Today I will show you my version of shepherd's pie and it's absolutely delicious, will definitely satisfy your taste buds. First of all I will work on my potatoes. Take 3 pounds of frosted potatoes, peel it, cut it into quarters, please subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my new videos. Put it in a pot and top it with the cold water. You need enough of water to cover the potatoes. Cook the potatoes for about 20 minutes or until they fork tender. While the potatoes are cooking, I will prep other ingredients. Take two medium onions and dice them small. Take two celery stalks and dice it small. Peel one large carrot and dice it small as well. Take half a bunch of chives and slice them small. Take one garlic clove and puree it. This garlic I will use for mashed potatoes. You will need about 1 tablespoon of rosemary. Take 3 rosemary stems, clean the leaves from stems and chop it fine. Do the same thing for the fresh thyme. Take two more garlic cloves and chop it small. All the vegetables are prepped. So now take a saucepan, add one cup of milk, turn on the heat to medium low and add pureed garlic. half a cup of heavy cream one stick of butter or 8 tablespoon and let it melt
Season it with 1 tablespoon of salt and crush some fresh white pepper. Bring it to light boil, shut off the heat and put it aside. Bring the pot with cooked potatoes, mash it with a masher. Gradually strain the milk mixture into the potatoes. I infuse the milk with garlic, but I don't want to put it directly into the mashed potato. Add 1 8 of a teaspoon of nutmeg, 1 tablespoon of sour cream, half a cup of parmesan cheese, and half a cup of Gruyere cheese. Mash it. Add chives. Adjust the seasoning with salt and pepper. Cover with the lid and put it aside into the warm place. Take a pot, I'm using the Dutch oven. Preheat it to high heat, add some vegetable oil and add 2 pounds of brown lamb. Sear it for about 3 to 4 minutes and mix it. Cook it for an additional 3 to 4 minutes. Take a whisk and break it. Move the ground lamb to 12 o'clock. Take large spoon and scoop out some excess fat from lamb, but make sure to leave some. Add two garlic cloves to 6 o'clock of the pot and let it sear for a couple minutes. Add onions. Celery. Carrot. Sear it for a couple of minutes, add rosemary, thyme, mix it, add 3 tablespoons of all-purpose flour, mix it and let it cook for 3 minutes. Pour 2 cups of Guinness beer and let it reduce. Add 1 tablespoon of tomato paste, mix it, add 2 tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, 2 bay leaves and mix it. Add 2 cups of green peas, 1 and 3 fourth of a cup of beef stock. Season it with salt and pepper. and let it cook for about 15 minutes. 
You want the sauce to be a little thick. So now it's time to assemble the casserole dish. Take 13 by 10 3 inch deep casserole dish. Add lamb. Spread it evenly. And tap it with the mashed potatoes. Take a spatula and spread it evenly as well. Take a fork and gently scrape the top of mashed potatoes. Top with half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And half a cup of Gruyere cheese. Put it into preheated 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 25 minutes and then let it broil on high for additional 5 minutes. Remove from the oven, let it cool for 10 minutes and enjoy this beautiful casserole dish with your family or friends. This dish deserves to be in the center of the table.